we're going to break down all of our different suburb sections and let you guys know why people are choosing these areas and more importantly why people rule these areas out completely so that you'll be able to do the same. We're going to break down all of our different areas from north, south, east, and west and give you the scoop on the housing communities, new construction, school districts, and so much more. If you're considering moving to Pittsburgh and you're looking at our suburbs, this is the only video you'll need. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, it's Riley Madden, a real estate specialist here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with eXp Realty. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn absolutely everything on what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play, all right here in Pittsburgh, make sure you start by tapping that subscribe button and click that little bell so you're notified every time we come out with a new video. We get so many reach outs every single day from people all over the world who are making a move here to Pittsburgh and we absolutely love it. If you're considering making a move to Pittsburgh, make sure to reach out to the team, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, DM us on social media, however you wanna get a hold of us, we've got your back when making a move to Pittsburgh. So this is a highly requested video. I'm so excited to break down all of the different suburbs. I know many people talk about the North Hills and the South Hills of our very popular section suburbs. And I am constantly getting asked questions about the West and the East and why they're not talked about as much. So we're going to literally break down each section, really give you a deep dive on what it looks like to live in each of these suburbs. But in order to give you guys a closer look, we're going to jump into the maps. Okay, so we're going to take you through all of our suburbs. So we have the North Hills, the South Hills, the Western region, and the Eastern region. Now, if you've done any research on Pittsburgh, any of our suburbs, you probably have heard about the North Hills and the South Hills. Those are typically the two most popular suburb sections that are a lot of times written about in blogs, talked about on videos by YouTubers. And these are popular for many reasons, but a lot of them being that they have really good access to the city, the north in particular. You have no tunnel when you come in, unlike all other areas. Also, the amenities are really nice. You're going to have your better grocery options like Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. You have your two popular malls, which would be Ross Park and South Hills Village. And then the communities are very nice. You have highly rated school districts, which is a big driver to Western Pennsylvania in general. So you're going to typically see North Hills and South Hills mentioned a lot, and we'll talk a little more in depth on exactly why and also so why these options might be more popular than the West and the East. But before we talk about suburbs, let's talk about navigation because it does have a fun reputation in Pittsburgh. A lot of people laugh, especially clients coming from out of state their first time here. Um, a lot of times they get lost and it's just due to the GPS, the confusing roads, all the different bridges, quick merges. So it is something you're going to have to get used to and we've heard it a lot. But once you get used to it, you're used to it for life. So um, it's just a little bit of a learning curve, especially if you're coming for the first time. Pittsburgh really isn't like any other city when it comes to its navigation. It does have a pretty irregular pattern of development. And what's funny about it is there was one point of time where Pittsburgh was actually like the cutting edge for American transportation. It was a major stop on the Lincoln Highway, which was the first coast to coast road for automobiles. And the Pennsylvania Turnpike still bills itself as America's first superhighway although it kind of shows its age today. So beltway systems. Most cities have a pretty strategic beltway system. Pittsburgh, not really so. But there was an engineer with the Allegheny County Public Works in the 1940s who laid out a color-coded beltway system using already existing two-lane roads to help people coming from out of state navigate it better, especially with lack of GPS. And it helped with navigation and helped people avoid having to go downtown if they were headed from one section to another. But this isn't your typical beltway system. As I said, they are using already existing two-lane highways, and it is kind of confusing looking at it. So it's not something people typically go by or even know about. 
but um, your GPS will do you justice nowadays. Now, our major highways include I-79, I-279, I-579, I-376, and I-76. Our highways here do have a few off-ramps that might have you navigate into the city in order to get to your destination, so just something to keep in mind. Um, traffic could be a little heavier downtown, so you do want to keep this in mind when commuting. So I-279 is known as Parkway North, which actually merges with Route 79 up here, so that'll take you down into the city. And the Penn Lincoln Parkway is known as I-376, and this is 27 miles long, so it connects Pittsburgh to the Pennsylvania Turnpike and also to the airport, Pittsburgh International Airport, which is right around here. And you have I-579, which is the north to south highway. So we're going to start breaking down these suburbs for you guys, starting with the North Hills, which is one of our most popular options for many reasons. So it basically starts up here, right outside of the city center. And like I previously mentioned, which is a huge deal, there is no tunnel coming into the city from the north. If you're not familiar with Pittsburgh, we have tons of tunnels. And what people like to do is slow down before they enter the tunnel, which creates a lot of unnecessary traffic. And this traffic isn't just during rush hour. I'll be going downtown often because I am in real estate. I'm always driving one way or the next. And it'll be even noon, one. I mean, like any time of the day, there will be significant hold up about a mile or so. And I don't live in the North Hills, so I unfortunately have to go through tunnels a lot. Um, but what a lot of clients that are commuting to downtown, a lot of them choose the North Hills because of this option. And I always let them know that up front. If you're not someone that enjoys traffic, if you want a nice quick commute and you're looking to be in a suburb, you definitely want to look into the North Hills. Now, the traffic typically isn't bad coming from the North Hills downtown. I would say it's the least prominent out of all of the areas. So just something to keep in mind if you're a commuter. Now, the North Hills actually got started after the South Hills, so it's a bit newer and it is also more car dependent. So the South Hills were more of the trolley suburbs, a lot more walkable, closer together. North Hills is a lot more spread out. You have bigger box retail, a lot more car dependent. It's not really walkable. The only walkability I would say is if you're at like North Park or if you're in a newer construction community that has sidewalks throughout it that's most walkability you're going to get other than that you'll definitely need a car to navigate around um you will get bigger size lots in the north hills due to that though so you're going to get a little bit more for your money space wise in the north hills compared to the south hills and you'll be a little further away from your neighbors um so the north hills is primarily known for its highly rated school districts you have plenty in the area one of them being north allegheny school district which you have niche.com rated it the number one in the state so it's a big deal it's a big district and that's going to encompass Wexford area, um, which is actually an unincorporated community made up of four different municipalities, Franklin Park, McCandless, Marshall, Town Marshall Township, and Bradford Woods. So if you are looking to be in North Allegheny, um, keep that in mind because when you're searching for properties as well, it's not going to say Wexford behind it. It's going to say one of these different townships. And it could get a little confusing. I mean, even when we're setting people up on portal searches so that they're staying up to date with the newest inventory meeting their criteria, we want to make sure we have all four of those municipalities included. And a way we could do that is we could actually section off your search by school districts because a lot of people will throw in, say, Ross Township, but they'll forget about a small municipality in that school district, and that'll leave out a significant amount of listings that you're not seeing and could be passing up on that perfect home. So what we do is we get you set up by school district and make sure every municipality is included in that search. It's not only known for its school districts, but also its modern amenities, really nice shopping areas, Ross Township, the block at Northway, 
Um, you have great shopping in McCandless. There is a lot to do, a lot of great amenities, including North Park, really popular. Um, you even have like a restaurant in North Park, Olympic sized swimming pool, lakes, hiking trails. Uh, they it's a really nice park. People would say one of Pittsburgh's best. So great amenity to have right in your neighborhood. So the North Hills in general, it's made up of your suburban municipalities. So you have Westview, you have Ross Township, Shaler, West Deer, Franklin Park, Marshall Township, Bradford Woods, McCandless, Hampton Township, Pine Township, Richland Township, the borough of Fox Chapel, which is like northeast a little bit. And then you have Indiana Township, O'Hara Township, Reserve Township, and Ohio Township. So if you've hear so if you've heard any of those areas, those are in the North Hills. Um, and some popular school districts you might have heard of. And before I go into it, a really good resource is niche.com and also Redfin. And why I like Redfin so much is because you could actually filter it by the school district rating and it'll actually show you on the map where the school districts are along with the property ranges hand in hand. So it's really easy to tell if you're looking for a B plus school district, what areas you're going to get those in, but also what does the purchase prices look in those areas. Very helpful. Um, so just go to redfin.com and niche.com is a good one for school districts. And you could also see the reviews that people attending the school district are leaving. So it's pretty insightful. Now, typically people are moving to the North Hills if they're coming with a family, like I said, looking for a good school district, looking for a little more space, maybe maybe a little acreage, definitely some modern housing options and new construction, which is a big reason. We have tons of clients looking for newer builds, and there are so many different builders in the North Hills. Um, we really enjoy working with new construction and showing all the beautiful homes. So the North Hills is an area I'm in, frankly, a lot, and I don't mind. I would say it's bigger box retail. Things are a little more flat compared to other areas, um, a little more newer, not as industrial. So the thing about the South Hills, very nice areas. The further you get out, the better. But um, some areas could seem a little bit industrial, just the roads a little beat up. I think the North Hills is just looks the newest, the cleanest. Um, so if you're coming from like a newer city and you kind of want to replicate that same vibe, you're probably going to like the North Hills. And then further north is going to get into Butler County and what happened recently was Cranberry Township is right after Allegheny County, so it's considered Butler County, and they recently built an interchange, which is taking you from Cranberry to downtown, reducing the commute time from around 40 minutes to like 20, 25, which is crazy. So a lot of people ended up moving further north and going into Butler County because you have cheaper taxes there. You have a lot more land. A lot more options for new construction. Prices are a little bit cheaper and tons of new developments going on. I mean, the area was complete farmland and it has been completely redeveloped. It is, for that reason, a little bit busier of a suburb due to all of the new developments going in and all of the different access you're getting to major highways. So if you're not looking for a busy suburb, you might not want to be in Cranberry, but if you are looking for really awesome home options and a newer environment, cheaper taxes, and still a good commute to downtown, Cranberry might be the way to go. Tons of new construction townhomes, single family, and really nice communities up in Cranberry, and even um, Mars, very popular area popular for its school district, new construction, and more land. And again, you have those cheaper taxes. Now, if you don't like things being more sprawled out and you want things closer together, maybe more affordability, and you're not concerned with being in a highly rated school district, then maybe another option might be best for you. But that pretty much covers the North Hills. And as always, just feel free to email, call, text, however you'd like to get a hold of us. We'd be happy to do like a one-on-one -on -one break 
break down with you depending on what you're looking for and kind of break down each of these areas one by one. And we are going to move west of the city. Now, west isn't often talked about, especially in the blogs and channels. I never hear people really talk about west and even people that, I mean, we're relocating tons and tons of families and clients every single day having these one-on-one -on -one discussions. And West is one that's frankly not brought up. Not many people really are aware of the communities in the West. And I'm going to tell you a reason why people don't like the West shortly. But the West is home to our international airport. So very convenient if you're someone that is traveling a lot. Um, nice communities nearby. Robinson is a popular one. And that's going to hold your main shopping center as well. Um, you also have a mall. You have... Raccoon State Park, you have some nice parks in the area. New construction, the further you get out, the more you're going to see, which is pretty across the board in all of our suburbs. But people like the West because you do have good schools, you have a little more affordable pricing depending on the area. Some nice rural options, especially in like the McDonald area, you're going to see homes a little more spread apart and not many amenities really close by, but a little more rural slash suburban. Now, Robinson Township is home to the most popular shopping center, I would say, in the area. And it is packed with stuff. Like, if you want your convenience and you're someone that loves the Costco, Sam's Club, and the bigger shopping centers for groceries, this has literally it all. And plus a ton of fun food. You have Settlers Ridge, which is like an outdoor shopping center full of different really good restaurants, bookstores, cafes, and even like your cinema movie theater. So fun area, very convenient. And not only do you have the mall at Robinson, but for your groceries, I'm telling you, you have Costco, you have Sam's Club, you have Aldi's, you have Walmart, you have a Giant Eagle Market District, and then you have a Target. And one thing that you have here that is not in any other suburb is Ikea. And the food isn't your typical suburb fast food and same old options. They do a great job at incorporating some more independent chains. The Yard, Industry Public House, Low Key Taco, Walnut Grill, and many other options. There is no shortage of food. Yeah, so Green Tree is like right on the outskirts of the city. You could easily hop on 376 and be downtown. Carnegie, um, very popular. If you've heard anything about like frickin' Carnegie, Carnegie's like a staple area here. I would say Carnegie's on the come up more. Um, you have some nice communities within it along with a section of your main street which has like fun different bars and restaurants and scott township lays right next to carnegie now rosalind farms and thornburg do offer pretty unique custom-built homes that is really unique to the area in general so and they're, they're giving you quick access to downtown beautiful communities. You have like your mid-century modern homes and just very unique custom-built homes in pretty tucked away neighborhoods, which is really nice. Other popular areas in the West is going to be Moon Township, which is actually right next to the airport. You have a pretty good rated school district here and really nice homes and that access to the airport is awesome. You have Kennedy Township, McKees Rocks, Ingram, which is right next to Crafton, and that is pretty much covering the bulk of the western suburbs here. And then you're also getting easy access to Washington County, which McDonald is, there's actually some parts in Allegheny and some parts in Washington, so that line kind of cuts off right around here. Um, Cecil, very popular area, west slash south. But that's in Washington County, beautiful property, acreage, and the school district is highly rated. You have Cannon McMillan, 
which the appreciation in this area has skyrocketed. So if you are looking for a continuously growing area and to get a good return in a few years, if you do plan to sell or just stack up that equity, Cecil would be a good one to keep an eye on. And there are some newer homes available in the West. Oakdale actually has a few new build communities. So does McDonald. Moon Township, Imperial, and Robinson, you're going to see newer homes in all of those areas, along with the traditional neighborhood development of Newberry in South Fayette. South Fayette is extremely popular. Another one, Appreciation School District skyrocketed, lots of land, great community, very welcoming, and you've seen a ton of people move there in the past few years. Schools that are ranked A and up in the West are going to be, is going to be Moon, West Allegheny, and South Fayette School District. And speaking back onto Carnegie, um, not only does it have like your main section of, of a few restaurants and shops, but tons of different town events, very strong community. And of course, you have your historic Carnegie museums and libraries and galleries, inc including the Andrew Carnegie Free Music and Library Hall. People like Carnegie due to it still has affordable prices and the access, whether you're going south or into the city, is really great and hard to beat for the prices. And on South Fayette, it does boast of great schools like I've said but not only that premium land so if you're someone looking for acreage or a, just a beautiful chunk of land South Fayette might be one you want to consider the area has recently experienced like rapid growth rapid development tons of new housing communities new commercial centers and lots of nice amenities being established and it is attracting a ton of developers who are coming in, building some modern housing options, um, lots of larger homes, which are being built in areas which used to be farmland. So kind of similar to Cranberry, but South Fayette, you're still going to be in Allegheny County. And the commercial development in South Fayette actually topped $19 million just last year. It feels pretty suburban but also rural, and you're definitely going to get that woodsy feel if you're looking for it. From 2000 to 2020, the population in South Fayette cre increased nearly 31%, and the population is projected to be a little bit over 17,000 by 2025. You could enjoy over 434 acres of parkland in the West, so lots of access to parks, which is going to be in all of our suburbs, but West has some beautiful options. And again, just beautiful communities. Two I have in mind are Winchester Woods and Lakemont Farms. And now on to the truth about this area. Why do people not like it as much? It's because of the commute into the city. So you have the Fort Pitt Tunnel, and it's not pretty. It's not, not at rush hour, pretty heavy on the traffic. Um, something to keep in mind, you're going to have a longer commute, you're going to be annoyed by the traffic, um, but if you could handle it and if you don't need to commute, you could find some really, really great options, especially if you're someone just looking to stay local into your suburb, maybe go into the city once in a while, but if you are someone that has to commute downtown every day, you might not want to choose this area due to that. And now on to the famous South Hills. Very popular, very, very popular area. Um, I love showing homes all throughout these areas and I'm excited to show you guys around. So known as the trolley suburbs, these were some of the original ones. You have the T-Line. This is what makes this area unique. No other suburb has it, but you have T-Access, a few points in the South Hills that'll take you right downtown. Awesome for concerts, um, just for a fun day trip downtown. It saves you from having to drive. So really good amenity. Um, and a lot of people do choose it for that reason. And I work with a lot of investors as well. And the investors who would like to invest in a suburb typically choose the South Hills for that reason alone, the great T access and the fact that it is more walkable. It feels like more of an urban suburban mix compared to suburban rural mix. 
and has some wonderful neighborhoods, some highly rated school districts, some that I'm thinking of right now, Mount Lebanon School District, extremely popular, Bethel Park is a blue ribbon district, Upper St. Clair, and the more you go south, you're going to get into Washington County here, but you have Peters Township School District, which is again, top notch. And like we said before, you have Cannon McMillan, which is located in Cecil Township, Washington County, cheaper taxes. And what is also nice is you have some sidewalk neighborhoods like Mount Lebanon. You'll have some sidewalks throughout and a few different business districts, which makes the area extremely walkable, especially for a suburb. Dormont is another one, very walkable, very close to the city. You're only about 10 to 15 minutes from downtown. And you have a business district there, great walkability, great tea access. So if you're looking for a walkable area that's not in the city, these might be your options. Let's start out with a negative of the area is Route 51 and the traffic there and also the Liberty Tunnels. But the Liberty Tunnels usually could be avoided so the traffic isn't too bad coming into the city. It's not perfect. It's not as good as the North Hills, but a lot of the traffic could be avoided. And the real issue is like a little bit of bottleneck. It's a little congested, narrow roads. Um, everything's a little closer together, a little more industrial feeling than the North Hills, but um, lots of character, lots of unique architecture, charming properties, and just the landscape over it all. I really like the urban-suburban mix. I feel like it's really unique and adds a lot of character to what most suburbs don't have. Now, the character and the closeness together does mean you're typically getting smaller lots if you're looking for tons of acreage. Mount Lebanon isn't your best bet. The South Hills is more of a tight environment. But not all of the South Hills is like that, like going into Upper St. Clair, a little further out, Bethel, and even Peters Township. That's where you're going to have the more car-dependent suburbs and more sprawled out space. So you could definitely still get that in the South Hills. Um, people really do enjoy the business districts here, especially like the one in Mount Lebanon, Beverly Road, fun, fun cafes, family-friendly places, lots of independent businesses. Again, just giving into that more character feel of a suburb. I would say you're going to have less like McMansions compared to the North Hills, and you're going to have more smaller homes, lots of character to them, beautiful architecture, and they're going to be older properties. But once you start to get into a little further out is where you're going to start to see the newer builds. It's easy to navigate the South Hills if you know it, and you'll be able to kind of scoot around, avoid the traffic, and get to many businesses through the back roads, which is a nice thing about Pittsburgh in general. If you don't like one way, there's always a back road. and might add a few minutes, but in some cases, it's definitely worth it. I would say the area definitely has more hip and urban shops and cafes and restaurants. And overall, people like the density, most importantly, the walkability, and the quaint atmosphere that really showcases what the authentic side of Pittsburgh has to offer. The schools, of course, good driver, ones you're going to notice a lot, Jefferson, Mount Lebanon, Bethel Park, Keystone Oaks, which is Dormont and um, Castle Shannon here. And then further out, when you get into Washington County, Cecil and Peters Township, going to be the most popular options you'll see. Um, You also have South Park here, which is actually home to the South Park, which is very nice, large park. I think you have snow tubing and different fun things. Your typical Pittsburgh park, very, very nice and great to have in the area. See, it's over almost 2,000 acres offering sports, a wave pool. That's the one thing that really differentiates it, the wave pool. Um, trails and a tourable old farmhouse. Pretty cool. There's also a golf course out here. Um, you're close to Tracks Farms, which is nice. You have an ice hockey rink, BMX tracks, dog parks. Very, very family-friendly, outdoor-focused area. And you do have more affordable prices in South Park. Um, you have South Park School District and a lot more land. And you do have some new construction communities here. It's more space, a little more rural, comfortable environment. 
I would say the majority of people moving to the South Hills going to be young professionals, um, definitely some couples, lots of families. Retirees enjoy it, singles, honestly, pretty much everybody likes the South Hills. So if you're someone looking for character, um, a good variety of different real estate and just convenience, being close to things like Mount Lebanon, in some areas, you could literally jump out of your house and walk to a park, walk to a coffee shop, walk to tennis courts. It's just very nice. And there's no bus transportation in Mount Lebanon to keep that in mind. So if the kids are going to be going to the high school, they're going to have to carpool or they're going to have to walk. Some reasons people don't like the South Hills, you could tell taxes are a bit higher in some of these communities. Upper St. Clair is known to have higher taxes along with Mount Lebanon, but taxes vary. Bethel, you could get pretty cheap taxes and pretty affordable real estate. And you're close to South Hills Village, very convenient. And you're still close to the other nice areas um, with all of the shopping. So Bethel is a really, I would say a little underrated. I really like the housing there. It's pretty unique. Um, no sidewalks, but Bethel is definitely a good choice if you're looking to get the most bang out of your buck. All right, now getting into a section that is rarely talked about. Um, so typically the people who are moving east are not moving east of Allegheny County, but they're moving east towards Westmoreland County. Um, that's where you're going to have more land, more new construction, lower taxes, but still a decent commute to downtown like Murraysville. I believe this is the closest suburb to downtown that's not in Allegheny County. Um, I love Murraysville. You probably, if you are a watcher of our channel, you've heard me talk about it a lot. We actually have a blog tour on Murraysville. Um, awesome nature, awesome properties, pretty reasonable pricing, and Franklin Regional School District, which is a highly rated district. Um, also, you'll hear North Huntington is a popular one people are moving to, which is also right on the border in Westmoreland County. You're still about 35 to 40 minutes from downtown, and Trafford is another popular one. So typically when people are moving east, it's in these areas but I would say Monroeville is pretty popular, but in the past few years, not as popular as it has been in the past. Beautiful homes there though, like really, really nice homes. Just like the amenities itself is just not that comparable to other North Hills, South Hills, and even the West. Like groceries kind of lack, um, the mall pretty much lacks. And I'm just being like honest, it just kind of lacks in amenities. And that's a big driver of why people don't love this area. Um, but you do have easy access to the parkway. You have the Squirrel Hill tunnels, which are notorious for backup, but they're not too bad. I mean, they're. I wouldn't say they're as bad as the West. I would say maybe just add another 15 minutes to the traffic depending on the time of day and you could avoid them and avoid going that route pretty easily coming from the east there isn't really any like small business districts or walkability in the east um beautiful homes in churchill and monroeville to two ones like even wilkins township here churchill has just beautiful tree-lined streets beautiful tree-lined streets and beautiful like stone properties and all different type of architecture and building material, lots of older homes and just very, very nice. And what's nice is these areas do have really quick access to the parkway, which will lead you downtown in 15, 20 minutes and also to the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And you do have some parks, of course, you can see lots of green Boys Park is a popular one, especially for like snowboarding. Yeah, very nice park. I've been there multiple times. Um, nice for a walk. Beautiful nature. I mean, just look at that. Pennsylvania, very beautiful nature, I will say. And the seasons here are wonderful too. And I'm mentioning that because we are in fall season. It's September, the end of it. And the weather is just immaculate. It's not too hot. It's not too cold, but it's just perfect. 
perfect amount of sunlight the leaves are slowly starting to fall off and it's pumpkin season so always fun especially with all of our farmers markets here and yeah like I said people are enjoying Westmoreland County a little bit more due to the land due to the property options new construction and those schools so North Huntington is Norwin School District Franklin Regional is going to be in Murraysville and then you have Penn Trafford School District which is going to encompass Penn Township and Trafford um, Homestead is a popular little area here, which is being renovated. You have your main street, which you have tons of different shops and a lot going on. The waterfront is a big outdoor shopping complex, which again, hosts your groceries. It has tons of like your Marshalls, your Target, your TJ Maxx, and then you have lots of fun restaurants, waterfront trails really pretty views. Um, other areas to keep in mind, Penn Hills has a ton of housing inventory for pretty affordable prices. Plum, you have a lot of nice homes, newer homes. School district is pretty ranked high. West Mifflin, you could find some pretty affordable properties and you're not too far from the city. Closer in, you could see North for sales. You could have really good access to downtown not as many amenities in the area itself, but really affordable homes and pretty quaint neighborhoods. Hey, wait a minute. Madden Brothers Roofing. That's my father's roofing company. But yeah, um, tons of different little sections. Swissville, pretty close to the city. Nice affordable properties. Close to Frick Park, which is one of the city's biggest parks. So that gives you a pretty simple breakdown of our different suburban sections, why people choose them, why people might not like them. Um, so if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me where we could kind of dive deep into what you're looking for and what areas are going to fit best for you, or you're looking to move to Pittsburgh anytime soon, this is all I do, relocation 24-7. So make sure to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, DM us on social media. However you want to get a hold of us, we are always here to help you on your big move to Pittsburgh. And if you do want to learn everything else about Pittsburgh, our different neighborhoods, why people are moving here, our real estate market. You could start by watching our next videos here. And we'll see you in the next one.